Today is the day. Today is when we find out who it was that stole the prop for the school play. I hope you're excited because I'm excited to find out who it is. And this time we're looking at patterns. Now patterns is quite one that we've quite got the hang of now. We know a little bit more about it and we have been doing lots and lots in class and over the time we've been at home. So if we have a look at our fine next shape in the pattern lesson, have a look, click on the link in the PowerPoint, make sure you watch that first because it will help you with the next activity. So if we have a look here, we've got our circles. Some of them are big circles, some of them are little circles. So we think we've got big circle, little circle, big circle, little circle. What two shapes will come next? So think, what will come after the little circle? It will be a big circle, and then the second shape will be a little circle. So make sure you're looking at your pattern first. And then you've got your rectangles, and then you've got some squares and triangles to do as well. Now if we move on to our 3D shapes, we've still got some 2D shapes, we've also got some 3D shapes to put in patterns. So we've got which patterns, which shapes, I'll actually read correctly, which shapes fit in the pattern? So we've got circle, triangle. What will come next? We've got circle, triangle. We're going to leave that there, we're going to have a think in a minute. Then it goes circle, triangle, circle, triangle. So which shape comes after the triangle? The circle. So we need to make sure we have the circle first. Then what comes after the circle? The triangle. So we're looking for a circle and a triangle. So there's a circle, that's not a triangle, so it's not that one. Oh, that's not a circle at the beginning, so it's not that one. Circle. And then the next one is a triangle. Yes, that is the correct one to put in our missing space. Now have a go at this one on your own. So you've got some cubes and some cylinders. Make sure you're using those words. Use cubes, cylinders. Don't say square or a rectangle because they're not a rectangle or a square. Clear number five, the last one. We'll find out what happens. Yay! So we've got our patterns of jewels. This time, instead of doing just two, what the next two is, we're looking at what's the next four. So I think you get a piece of paper, or print this out, and you can draw next to it what is the next part. So we've got pentagon, pentagon, hexagon, rectangle, hexagon, oval, pentagon. A bit of a tricky one. Let's try it again. Let's do it again so you remember. Pentagon, pentagon, hexagon, rectangle, hexagon, oval, pentagon. So what comes after the pentagon? So we need to go back to the beginning because the pentagon's at the beginning. So we've got one pentagon. After that is another pentagon. So when we look, we need to make sure that the pentagon's at the beginning. So we know it can only be these two because the pentagon's at the beginning. So it can't be B and it can't be D because they don't start with a pentagon. So now it's your turn. I've given you the first one. I want you now to have a look and see which one it will be. And then if we have a look here, we've got some sentences. So if you choose pattern A, then the thief's favourite biscuits are double trouble. And remember, you can go back up to that class list and have a look and see whose favourite biscuits are double trouble. And then remember to, to look at the next sentences. So the answer to clue five, write it down. Then, how do you solve the mystery of who is the prop thief at Somerville Primary School? So use all your clues, go back to your class list, have a look. Have they got light hair? Have they, are they a female? Think about all of that. You might need to go back to day one to have a look at that as well. So we've got our answers here. So we've got our missing shapes and we've got the ones that are correct for your missing shapes. And then we've got the pattern answer, which is pattern C. And then the prop C of some of your primary school is Misha. So going back, looking at your clues. Now next week, we're going to have another investigation, and this time we'll have an idea of what to do and how it works. But enjoy your weekend, and I'll see you next week. Bye.